we load it down. Hit it ass shot hunting in Kentucky. Redemption story. Had a good year last year. We got a lot of good bucks on camera. We're gonna get it done. Are oh, you need some money for diesel? Yeah. You gotta get this money for diesel. First pit stop. I don't drive, I make him drive. I pay for fuel, but he's gotta drive. Exclusive too, Toby. Huh? About to find our food. Yeah, we have per diem too. Hey, what's up? What's up? What? I wore this shirt just for filming today. Can you believe that? It's, it's, it kind of pops out. So we got to go to, uh, we got in late last night and I get here. Well, we got here like midnight. You was with me. Oh my god. Oh yeah, I remember. <laughs> so we got in late last night to camp and uh, we didn't have time to go to Walmart. We wanted to catch some sleep. We didn't have to get up very early this morning because we only hunt evenings. But our deer is going to be coming in probably around 3, 3.30 is what he's been pretty regular on. And uh, so we need to get in the stand at about 1.00 get set up so it's kind of early he's been coming in at six and seven as well so if he comes in late it's gonna be a long sit for me and Toby but we got to head to Walmart and get our tags we weren't able to get them last night we didn't feel like getting them um, it's too out of the way so we got about a 26 mile drive to go grab them and we'll be back at the camp probably about 12 and have about 30 minutes to get ready and head out at one hopefully so hopefully we can get it done this evening and we're going to Pray to the good Lord, he uh, sends my deer in there pretty early and we'll uh, weigh the options. We're gonna get Toby a tag and see if we can get him on one too this, this trip. <laughs> What you gonna do? Shoot something. Shoot something. Kill something, right? That's right. <laughs> it's opening day at uh, Ass Shot Hunting in Kentucky with our good friend Gary Kinder. Uh, we come up every year with him. It's our second year actually, so I can't say every year, but it will be an every year, every year tradition. But Daniel was real successful last year. Bo was real successful. We've seen a lot of bucks, and we know there's a lot of bucks. And Gary's put his work in, and, and now it's up to us to put our work in. So we're gonna get in the stand. It's, it's about one o'clock, one thirty, and they're coming in real early, overcast day. Hopefully we can get it done pretty quickly. Yep. Everybody's, well said. Well said. everybody's got a couple picked out. Bows are about as good as they're gonna get them right now. Oh. Yeah. You shooting your straight? Got that extra what? release, don't you? I do have that extra release. Mine's actually got an arch to it. When I shoot it from release, it does that. Yeah. That's what we all hope they do. We, uh, we got an extra release we're bringing. We don't want to jinx anything because everybody knows uh, my shooting skills in the past. And But if the good Lord uh, is with me today and allows me to shoot right, hopefully Toby will be able to sling an arrow at one right after me. And he's got probably a bigger challenge than I do shooting my bow because I don't know why the kid left his bow at home, but we're going to try to make it work. I offered Matthew someone to rub in his beard. He didn't want it. That stuff will make it grow. You could rub it in your head, your beard, your chest hair. I can grow a beard if I get it. It'll help it grow faster. Be shiny and fresh like this. Get the luck of the Amish. Kind of like the luck of the Irish, but not. Gary, just so you know, Potter said, uh, if everybody kills a deer here, he is shaving the beard. If 
I don't like physically lay my hands or my eyes on my dang release. This thing was huge. Got this really big hill here. We hunted here last year. And I had hunted here three times. This is one of those spots you definitely want to kill on the first day. So you kill it out here and they come get you in the range or you don't have to walk back up it. But it's a long one. Hey, don't trip. So we just made it down the hill and we finally got set up. Um, we're in a, not what we're used to sitting in first off, we're in a double two man ladder stand. Uh, looking over this creek bottom, we got our corn pile over there, Kentucky's illegal bait state. But um, this tree is so big, we can't get another set on it. So we're having to work out of this two man ladder. So we've got stuff everywhere, so it's gonna be a tight squeeze. Um, this deer's been pretty regular. He's a super wide eight pushing a nine if you can get a ring on it, but he's a super wide eight. He's a solid deer. We come down the hill, there's already three or four does in the corn pile, so they weren't really spooked at all. They just kind of got out of here, kind of slowly checking things out. I mean, that wasn't right, I guess, but um, he's been coming in here pretty regularly about 3.30. Um, he has been later. It's been pretty overcast. The temperature's dropped. We're hanging around 72, 73 degrees today. Um, it's been about 85 to 90. Hoping that doesn't really mess them up. They were still in velvet three three days ago. I'm sure they're working it off a little bit. We're gonna hope that doesn't affect them or change them much. But um, it could be a, a quick sit. It's about 1:45 now. It could be an hour from now. It could be six hours from now. But we'll see soon enough. We're gonna try to do the best we can. What we got. It's a relatively long shot. Um, Nothing that, you know, we're not prepared for, but we're coming in expecting a little bit shorter shot of the corn pile, but it's a long 35, let's say that, but uh, the shot should be around 40 yards, but nothing, I'm not, I'm not really worried about it, I'm just gonna just start whipping. My ears on the run, chasing hell, drinking devil's blood. I never caught a fire, ever slow me down.
about that shot I thought you said. If he's going away from you, you're putting it right up his butthole. And I, I think I accidentally put it right up his butthole. <sighs> Dude, give me something. I, I just, I'm not going to celebrate till, till we know, but I think I see his rack over there. And it sounded like it went down. Right through here. Okay. Well, we know we got blood. You want to go see if he's up here? He's down. I'm telling you, man, he's laying right there. Right, Dude, he's right here. Oh my god. Still in velvet. Dude, I miss this so freaking unbelievable. The, the worst, best shot of my life. Oh my god. So surreal. I don't even know what freaking say. We uh, I felt like me and Toby was fighting all odds this evening. Um, we got in the stand. This big boy's been, he's our number one target buck, and uh, he's been pretty active. And like I told you, three o'clock, three o'clock, three forty-five. About three o'clock, we get blown at by this deer. We didn't have a clue what it was, and we just thought it was him. And um. We fought that all evening, just had those onyx on, cut it off. Had the thermosil on, cut it off. Trying everything, you know, we took care of our scent preparation and we're down in this creek bottom and the wind's swirling. And we just we just felt like there was nothing else we could do. And we kept getting blown at by these deer. We probably got blown at by three or four different deer and deer come in, they was getting sketchy, getting sketched out. We had these two does in there, in the corn. And they, uh, I'm sorry, this is just, it's been a long time coming. A lot of struggles but uh two does in there and they were staring and we knew they was looking at something and sure enough we seen this piebald buck come in he didn't hang around very long and uh we're sure that it's because this this big boy was coming in and, and uh we was looking at it and another buck was coming in and toby said matt that's your buck and i look and i said uh -oh, i gotta get up so i had to stand up and it's hard quartering away and i was going to try to run it up in his rib cage here and me and toby just talked about how he would shoot a deer if he was facing straight away. He said he'd shoot him right up the butthole. And uh, I'm not gonna say I did it on purpose, but I'm glad it happened because we're looking at the corn pile. So he, he made it about 80 yards and he barreled up and he's a fine, fine eight point full velvet buck. He's losing some, some velvet over here, but this is a beautiful deer. I'm so glad it, it happened. I can't thank Gary Kinder enough for uh, putting in the hard work and finding these deer for us and, and putting us on them. And I can't thank Toby enough for being there for me in my first big velvet Kentucky stud bow buck. What are you doing, man? Who's deer? A deer? You skinning? You skinning one? Uh, well, I quit, man. I'm, t I'm tired of missing. Again, man. Just take me home. For real, though, whenever you can load that Ranger up, I'm not walking out of here with this big joker. He's laying here like eight, 80 yards from the corn pile. Uh, 30 minutes away. Yeah, you left the Ranger. You're good. Uh, you're good. We just. Uh, Which one did you queue? The biggest one out here. What do you think I'm trying to do? Uh, I don't <laughs> did you kill the big eight pointer or the big wide one? The big wide one. I almost just didn't think it was going to happen. And uh, they finally come in and Toby said, dude, that's your buck. <laughs>